Okay, in case you didn't catch up with me from my last video, I said I'm running out of pots, man. But I got more and more plants. I got more plants than my pots could uh, hang out with. So I gotta start planting them, otherwise they're gonna start looking, I ain't gonna even say the word rubbish. Look at this guy, he needs some love right now, you know? And these is like very expensive, these coconut Kyor pots. Anyway, so I went to Dollar Tree. I did not have time to thumbtack these holes. So I took the Dollar Tree, <laughs> this is Dollar Tree experience. Uh, the matches and I burnt holes in mine. You know what I mean? Who cares how the holes got there? As long as we got uh, good ventilation. I said I was gonna do it on my time, not yours. So it looks bootleg. It is what it is. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know what I mean? I'm not perfect and you certainly ain't either. So I see you over there with your six fingers. You know what I'm saying? Your poly, uh, too many fingers on your hand. A person so not that I got any hate on people who got six fingers I know people who do anyway back to the show <laughs> we're gonna be planting some good stuff and what I like to do again like I said I'm running out of pots so I'm just reusing a lot of stuff just show you guys my process um I took upon myself I got some compost over here that a good friend gave me. I don't throw anything away that I think could be used. So this, I don't use this anymore. I got a new one. So I'm going to cut some of these uh, strings. And I, should, I guess I should have did this before <laughs> too, right? Anyway, I sterilized it. Um, and let it sit in the sun for like a few days so the sun can biologically clean it and you know free of all chemicals there's a reason I use these um, it's because when your 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 um, plant needs water and if you soak one of these um, I guess it's yarn type of material it will just saturate the whole piece and if the root is here and it's the whole thing is wet, the tree will get it wherever it's attached to. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna run through some things I use when I'm planting my good stuff, whatever I have in these pots here. I use cardboard, brown matter. I'm gonna go ahead and use these strings, right? down somewhere closer to the bottom because that's where the water will be. Um, the holes, we needed uh, ventilation. I mean, you know, drainage. And again, Dollar Tree. I usually don't like to use the stuff that has a dye in it, but it's going at the bottom. And that's where the roots are gonna be eventually. So if you um, put that stuff at the bottom, it will um, it will sit there for a while and the plant will find it. So stuff is rough. All right, so I'm going to put the paper, I mean some coffee. Sounds like gunshots in my neighborhood. But it's not on my block, right? <clears throat> so, mind your business, New York. You'll live longer. Hmm. That's a jewel by Mercy Merce. All right. So we got some coffee over here. Yep. Okay. Put some coffee in the mix. Oop, oop. Getting on the floor. Okay. Got some coffee. And now we're going to open up this compost. Okay. Let's 
go ahead and drop some in there. That's a really good mix, all right? Now, you can take your liberty to either mix it in yourself. You don't have to. It's what you feel. Because in some, some of these stringies gonna be at the top now. I guess I should drop it down a little bit. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna put some compost on top of that. This is like some onions, some eggshells, some banana, all right? Maybe even some paper towel stuff in there. A lot of stuff that the plant will attach itself to. I'm just gonna put another handful or two of this dirt. And I'm gonna put a little bit more of this coffee. And that's it. And I'm gonna just plant this guy. All right. <clears throat> okay. There's some also some cardboard boxes in with that coffee. And yeah, it's a lot going on. But it's nutrient for the plant. The plant will be happy. Right? So <clears throat> I could really do this one of two ways. I could have cut a hole in the bottom of this pot because these are biodegradable. But I'm going to save this pot because I want to plant some soursop seeds later. And there's the plant. And... We're gonna throw some dirt on top of it. We use that. Put some more compost on top. And that's it for this guy. If you guys are feeling my techniques, if you guys have a little bit of your own techniques, I would like to hear them, you know? And uh, I'm gonna water this guy in. All right. And I don't even know what the name of this plant got, this plant was because the label got mixed up. But we got some good drainage over here. I'm gonna set them outside in the sun. So thanks for watching. How to use <laughs> reusable household elements in the house to plant your plants. God bless, mercy, mercy. Seattle Supersonics. So be supersonic.